Hello and welcome, this is Shane from Viscount Capital. Uh, today I'm going to run through just uh, a pretty simple spreadsheet regarding binomial trees. Now this is a pretty big topic when it comes to derivatives and it's really used quite extensively in uh, finance generally as well. So I think it's an interesting uh, topic to introduce. And in this situation, we're just going to look at valuing a European call option using binomial tree. Uh, more frequently, uh, binomial trees are used to calculate American options and especially exotic options as well. Now, the real value here is I don't want to get into too much detail. I think you can read up on that yourself uh, if you want. J.C. Hull, Options, Futures and Other Derivatives is a great book which explains all this. But I don't want to get too stuck in the detail because I think it's actually more valuable if you look at the practicalities of being able to do this for yourself at work or whatever it is. I think the, the practicalities of uh, even downloading this spreadsheet yourself from the description box will probably be of more value than uh, trying to, you know, theoretically um, uh, sort of see everything on paper or hear it from me. So I'm just going to run through what I've done here uh, without looking at the, the formulas. And then you can download it yourself and, and play around with it and obviously build the spreadsheet to be a lot better than this because this is like, you know, a one, two minute, um, uh, you know, thing that I've knocked up together. And obviously if you're developing anything serious, you want it to be a lot better. But to begin with, we have uh, just a theoretical stock that I made up here. We have time to maturity 0.75 years, binomial steps 3. I think uh, I'll have to look this up, but my memory uh, tells me that you want at least 20 to 25 binomial steps in any model. And 25 to the, the difference between 25 and 1000 steps is very little, but the difference between 20 and 10 is huge, thereabouts. Um, but generally, the, the generally accepted binomial steps I think is about 50 or so. But anyway, here's three just to, to get you started. Now, in each binomial tree, we have an up movement, so that uh, tells us how much the stock is going to move up and how much the stock is going to move down. And this is really calculated based on volatility and the timestamps. Um, then we have a P, and that's the probability of an up movement. So we have a 51% probability of an up movement. And uh, 1 minus P is the probability of a down movement. So the first thing that I've done, I mean, it's very basic just looking at it now, is we have a stock price. And here we have an up movement and a down movement from the original price. And not movement, you're just timesing the, 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 the previous price by how much the stock is projected to go up. And that happens again and again and here. So we have a little tree of stock prices and where their projections are going to be. In other words, what you might hear referred to quite a lot is that this stock price goes on a random, random walk, so to speak. And here we have the expiration date, in other words, these are all identical uh, sort of lengths of time in between valuation date and expiration. And so here we just value the option as if uh, using this figure here, let's say the stock is at 42, the option value is just going to be the current price minus the strike price, if it's called. And we do the same here, and the same here, and the same here, and then we have a formula based which is, I won't get into, but we have a formula base telling us how much the option is worth one step from time with the probability that these two outcomes may, may happen. And the same here and the same here, and we work our way back until we get an option price of 3.94. And if you want to know how accurate this is, I've tested against Hull and all my formulas are correct. And this is actually relatively accurate. You're talking, you know, just a few cents, you know, probably, you know, a bit off a price if you went up to 20 binomial steps, but still, you want everything to be perfect, so uh, you're still going to build it much better than this. But this really simple spreadsheet makes something that a lot of people think is quite complicated into a much more simple 
um, analysis, so to speak. But that's it for now. I hope you've uh, you can download the spreadsheet, play with it a bit, build it up to be something a bit better, build it to value exotic options, uh, American options. Um, that's something I might get round to. Um, but thank you very much for tuning in, and I hope this was beneficial to you.